What is it like for me today to live in Brighton as a Jew is a very interesting question and I will answer that personally because I can't answer for the entire Jewish community because there are so many different streams of Judaism here. Uh, so I'll just talk from my personal experience. Uh, we have a fantastic community. Uh, we have lots of activities going on. Um, I learn Hebrew, uh, Ivrit, it's what they speak in Israel. And I learn Israeli dancing, and I go to a lot of community events, I go to services. Uh, it's a wonderful community, very friendly, very supportive, and I'm very, very grateful to have that. I love Brighton and Hull, and I want to be able to be here and be proud to be a Jew. And I want to be able to be here and be proud to be a Jew who loves Israel. And I understand as a Jew that um, Israel does have internal political problems, but no country is perfect, and it's not right for Israel to be judged by a different standard to all other nations. Um, I feel that I have no place here to be able to be Jewish and support Israel, I have to hide it, and that's very sad for me. Um, sometimes I go down to Churchill Square, I wave the Israeli flag um, in the midst of, of a lot of people who are, who are supporting BDS and waving the Palestinian flag, and um, people give me the most filthy looks, they shout at us, um, that we've had stuff thrown at us, sometimes we've had to have police presence. When I saw what happened during the Labour Party conference, um, the active hatred of Israel that came out, um, it was made me very ashamed. And when I was walking around Brighton, I felt a real, really divided loyalties and I felt that I was no longer supported in my city. No, I've never, I've never experienced any anti-Semitism towards my, myself, um, although I, I must iterate that now, um, it's sort of like Israel's become the collective Jew, and I've experienced an awful lot of hatred towards Israel on our streets, um, boycotting Israeli goods in a lot of the shops, even a lot of the very progressive, very sort of, you know, fringe sort of hippie shops that would like to say that they were accepting of everything. They, they don't accept that. So um, I, I see that basically as, as another form of anti-Semitism, although a lot of people would disagree with me. Uh, the fact that it is conflated by the left, um, you know, anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism means that we also have to conflate it. We haven't had any attacks on people here, which is wonderful. Because I uh, look very English, because I have uh, blonde hair and green eyes, I can go under the radar. Um, the, the rabbis have said that they haven't experienced any issues uh, with, and they, some of them dress in quite traditional dress, but they say that they haven't had any issues. So at the moment, I feel it is a safe place. I, I fear for the future. Um, I think there's a lot more um, political extremism, fund, you know, religious extremism coming, uh, being allowed to um, come to the surface, and I don't know what's, how that's going to unfold. Um, I know there have been a, a lot of attacks on Jewish people in other countries, and in London especially, and please God, that won't happen here, you know. <laughs>